Well, hey there guys and girls. Ah, uh, so yeah, I'm just sat in the passenger seat of my little Fiat Panda here, 4x4, with the wool bars on, you know, I've got the spotlights and whatnot, all the cool things. The spotlights aren't on, these are just the normal lights, right, these are just the standard driving lights, you know, this dip beam, this is high beam, that's your high beam, and that's your low beams. This is just standard side lights, which is just that. But uh, my brother's just coming out of the house. Uh, I could just uh, turn the lights off completely and put my spotlights on. Wowie. <laughs> As you can see, I've got quite a few spotlights. That's, it hasn't even got the lights on in the car yet. There you go. There's the lights on in the car. And that's the high and low beam, which doesn't do anything anymore. <laughs> It does nothing! <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. And the most awesome thing I can do with this as well is that uh, you can't really see. I've got no interior light in here, sadly. And I can't uh, put my torch on the, the phone, so I can't show you this. Oh, I've got, I've got my head torch, though. All right, so as you can see, well, maybe, if I just scrunch across a bit, this is the little box that I've built up. See that there, guys and girls. Loads of focusing properly. Right, I can't really see very well. It's dark, I'm sorry. I've not got lights and things. Well, I've got lights, they're all outside the car. But yeah, that's the thing I've built. As you can see, the good stuff. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it works fantastically well. And of course, I can switch the top fog that this spotlight's on and off. That's the bottom ones turned turned off. That's the top ones turned off. Bottom ones on. Sorry, top ones on. Bottom ones on. Both together. You can hear my alternators drain a bit. These are currently drawing. Let me have a look see here. It's probably a bit too bright. They're currently drawing 20 amps, they are. 20, 20, about 23 amps they're drawing. Works well. I'm quite impressed with them. And of course, on this switch that I built, I've made it so that I can have the lights on constantly, so that they come on all the time. I haven't said they're, you know, so they'll come on without the battery, sorry, without the ignition being turned on, which is the up position. I've got them on the bottom position, which is working on the ignition, but if I set that to off, and I switch that one on instead, the one on the bottom, it means that when I flash my high beams, I get everything come on. Well, you can't say that you couldn't see me, because when I flash my lights, You get everything fire up at you. Nice. And as you can see, the standard dip beam lights are pathetic now. When you, but when you put it onto high beams, oh my god. Boy, are those high beams. That's more like it. Now, if only I was allowed to use these on the roads. Hmm. Off-roads? Yeah, fine, perfect, they were great for off-roading. Country lanes and stuff. Uh, you're not really supposed to put, use them on country lanes. Still classed as a public highway, so you can't really use them on there. 
Green lanes, well technically they are also public highways. They're just unpaved roads, so you technically are not supposed to use them on those, but yeah, I think there comes a part where, yeah, you could do with seeing uh, what, what's cracking off, so yeah. But yeah, I'm quite happy with that. It's took me so long to wire these kidders in. Let's go out and show you them, shall we? Oh my god! That is some serious light output. Right there. Some serious light output. And then one day, when I get some cash together, I'm going to get a very nice LED bar just to sit in that gap there. One of those really nice ultra bright jobbies. Standing here on my trousers, it's lovely and warm. It's very nice and warm. But yeah, I definitely think I'm drawing more than 45 uh, amps here in total, that is. But with all the car's electrics going, as well as the, uh, the spotlights going. And don't forget, it's got to also try and charge the battery up as well. So the alternator that I put on this, the 90 amp alternator, is definitely going to get its uh, its use, its fair amount of use. Good stuff. How awesome is that, guys and girls? I've got all the covers for these as well, so I can put all the covers back on them. Nice. Super bright. Just wish you was allowed to use them on the roads. You're just not such a troll. Oh well. Looks good though. Alright guys and girls, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you later on. Peace out everybody.